And we're back with another in-depth analysis of one of the better cards in recent memory. I thought we peaked with Lewis versus Spivak. Boy, am I glad I was wrong. We got another action-packed event coming up this weekend, and I'm ready to jump straight into it. First fight, Clayton Carpenter versus Juan Camilo Ronderos. I'm sure you guys are tired of all the extra coverage surrounding this fight, and I don't want to waste any more of your time, so we're going to keep it moving. Next fight. AJ Fletcher versus Thunberg Grimbo. I don't know why I almost said Greta Thunberg, but now that I'm looking at AJ, I cannot see it. I'm going with Greta. Next fight, Nazim Sadiq off. Oh, that's all you need to know. Tell grandma to sell the house. Gather the life savings. We're betting on Sadiq. Next fight, OSP versus Felipe Leans. Shout out to Eric Silva. I'm glad you found a way around USADA, and I wish you the best in the rest of your career at light heavyweight. I'm going with OSP. Next fight, Jamal Emers versus Kuskin Askabov. Jamal with the extra H in his name just put in a lot of work a few weeks ago. I'll be a fool to think Jamal with the extra L in his name won't do the same. Next fight, Lena Landsberg versus Myra Bueno Silva. Myra looks very confused. Most likely with what's going on with this event. And that's something I can relate to. So I'm going with Myra. Next fight. Joe Selecki. Shout out to Joe's parents. Very unbranded name. When you have no distinguishable facial features, your name should be Joe. Make a trip to your local grocery store. You're guaranteed to run to five of the same white guy. Joe Selecki versus Benoit, God of War, St. Dennis. God of War versus Joe. Joe, God of War. God of War, Joe. I'm going with Joe. Next fight. Jim Miller versus Alexander Hernandez. Fun fact. Jim Miller made his UFC debut when I was a freshman in high school. And I'm just now finding out he has a nickname, which is A-10. Alexander Hernandez's nickname is The Great Ape. He was that close to having a cool nickname. I'm going with Jim Miller. Next up. Oh, it just hit me. The Great Ape is a Dragon Ball Z reference, in which case Alexander Hernandez has the coolest nickname. I'm going with Alexander. You can always count on me for the in-depth analysis. Next fight, William Knight versus Marcin Prachno. That's Jonah Hill. Congrats on the weight loss. But fighting in the UFC, you're flying too close to the sun, Jonah. I'm going with William Knight. Next fight, Josh Parisian versus Jamal Puegas. These Jamals are taking over. But, Jamal's picture is in black and white. And his parents didn't give him an extra letter. Why is that, Jamal? That's suspicious. I'm going with Josh. Next fight. This is our co-main event. This is the fight the fans been asking for. Been a long time in the making. Jordan Wright versus Zach Poago. Jordan's some guy. And Zach Poago looks like he should have fought in the Perth card, which is not on brand at all. So I'm going with Jordan. And our main event, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's clap it up. Jessica Andrade versus Aaron Aaron Blanchfield. Jessica Andrade has been a longtime staple in the women's flyweight division. And I promise I did not just learn about Aaron Blanchfield in her last fight. Congrats to these two ladies on the main event spot. And when these two headliners get into the octagon, something's going to happen. And that's something that you just can't miss. And that's it. Wait, oh, I forgot to make a pick. And that's it. UFC Fight Night on Draws vs. Blanchfield. Good luck with your picks.